quick video to show you how to get your trade project data into um, your Google Docs uh, into a spreadsheet and so that you can get a graph. So you're going to get into your Google Drive, you're going to hit create and we're going to create a spreadsheet and so we'll have the columns here, we'll uh, set up a title, this is our trig project data and then we're basically going to have some X and Y data, often times the X column is uh, time and the Y data is you know something like temperature or hours of daylight or the height. Uh, remember you want to think carefully about uh, how you're doing the time or the day or whatever it may be. Um, often you're choosing a reference point and measuring from there and so if you're dealing with uh, things going on throughout the year uh, it's probably going to be set at this time it's going to be day of the year and so if you're dealing with January and you have the average temperature for January you can call that the average temperature on January 15th so it's day 15 and then you have the average temperature uh, in the middle of February so that's uh, maybe like day 45 and then so on you know maybe March the middle of March is day 74 and so on and so you would have uh, a bunch of X values here right and if you're doing uh, hours of daylight, for example, you would pick out a variety of days um, the, throughout the year, at least a, a dozen or so. The main thing you would want to, to look for is you would want to make sure you're hitting the, the max and min points for your Y values. Then you're going to enter in your Y values. And so we have some temperatures. And I'm just sort of making things up here, obviously. And, uh, and then... For some reason, mine is just uh, repeating in 180 days, but you get the idea. So you get your data in there. You're being careful about how you're defining the X variables so that you can use it to answer questions. Now, when you're ready to get the graph, you highlight the data. So highlight both columns. You can highlight the titles as well. Then you're going to come up here to the, to the menu bar and choose Insert Chart. And you have the data selected and we're using row one as a header and then for we're just going to go to the chart tab and we're going to choose a scatter plot and so we just want a scatter plot of the data and it's now giving me the data i can customize it i can give the chart a uh, name which is always good you know with whatever location i'm using uh, down here you can uh, change your axis so notice it didn't do a real good job here it it uh, on the y-axis, it, uh, it started at 5. That's sort of annoying. It's uh, nice to start it at 0. So you can uh, play around with that a little bit. Uh, you can have it go up to 25. and So play around with it. Get it to look good. You can put labels on the axes. Right? I was doing temperature. So you basically, you want to get it looking nice. Get the chart title. Get the, get the scale on the axes set up correctly. And then you click insert and it gives you the chart. You can drag it over here so you can see the, the data and the chart. You can play around with sizing it and play around with your printer. And so it'd be nice to get a nice printout with the data uh, table and then the, the graph all on one page. So you might have to play around with the sizing a little bit. Um, once you have the graph, of course, now you're set. You can approximate the middle. You can say, okay, I've got the amplitude and I can approximate the period, and then I can create my sine equation, and we'll be able to check it out on our graphing calculators, as we'll show you in another video.